Hey guys, I just wanted to film a product empties video. I know this might be something new to you, but I've seen it all over YouTube. And it's basically when you finish a product, you give a little review about it and what you thought, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, would you repurchase it again, bottom line. And that's what I'm gonna be doing for you guys today. I saved a few of the products that I had recently just finished up. Um, some are kind of almost there, so I thought I'd just include them anyways because they're gonna be, I'm gonna be finishing them very soon anyways. First off, let's get started. One of the things that I had got questions about a lot was these gummies. And it's the hair, skin, and nails gummies. It's with biotin skin, it's with biotin, and it has antioxidants, vitamin C, and E in it, and it's just a gummy. Um, they're actually pretty good if you ask me. And you take two of them a day, you can either take one in the morning, one at night. I take them both together so that way I don't forget. Keep them in my medicine cabinet because I'm always using hair products or makeup things in there, so it's easier for me to remember daily if it's there. And it's a fun thing for me, so I really like them. I feel like with my nails, I really noticed the difference that they were going a lot. They were going super fast. So, and with my hair, I felt like it was more healthier, and um, I just, I mean, I think it's kind of hard to tell if your hair is growing with it. I think other people can tell you, which I did get compliments saying that my hair had grown a lot, but for you, it's kind of hard to really realize. I think I'm gonna do a challenge to see with my next bottle to see where it starts and where it ends after the bottle, so that way you can have a better in-depth review of that. And I'll maybe do a video of just that by itself. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them. And also my friend said that they were having a sell at CVS buy one get one free. And I think I'm gonna go over there and check it out and see if they're still going on because I am all out and I went to Target and I said, no, I'm gonna check CVS first before I buy them there. So if you can't get them at Target, you can get them at CVS. I do know that. All right, next is a kind of weird thing. Um, I know it's things that people don't normally talk about, so if you hear this weird noise in the background, it's just um, my fiance showering before we go out to dinner. I'm quickly filming this video for you, so yeah, just ignore that. We have a very weird water system where it makes very weird noises anytime that you use the water. So if you ever hear something funny, that's probably what it is. Anyways, this next product is something that I don't think girls really talk about or mention or recommend to other girls at all. I think I've never been recommended this before or anything like this before. Deodorant. I am a type of person, I don't say I wouldn't say that I sweat so much where I need a prescription deodorant or something like that, but it, it takes a lot for me to sweat, but the one place that I do sweat, it would be my underarms. So I had tried a couple different ones. I tried an organic one and that, it was like Tom's, I think it was, and it didn't work for me at all. I felt like they even got smellier because of it and I didn't like it. I have been using this one for a while. It's a secret unscented deodorant and I really like it. It's a gel formula. So you just twist it up and the gel comes out. I really like that versus powder for me. I don't know why, that's just my preference. But I really like it. Um, keeps my underarms clean, fresh, feeling all day. And yeah, so I just purchased another one recently so I thought I'd share that with you guys. On to the next product. The next product is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Amazing. You guys know how I feel about Anastasia. She is amazing. I think her products are awesome. Anything that I have tried from her, I have just loved. So I'm just loving her brand right now. I have actually gone through two of these. This is the color in Brunette. And I really like them. Like I said, I use it for on the go or just when I'm going doing something quick for work, I really like to make it look sharp with this. So would I recommend it? Yes, would I buy it again? I've already bought it again because I love it that much. Okay, on to a very similar product and it is the MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Lingering. 
I did like this for a while when I was going to beauty school and I remember that I was really addicted to this actually because that was when I first started doing my eyebrows and I was actually doing them really thick then too but not with this one I started learning how to not do them thick with this but with a Revlon one but I really liked it when I was in beauty school now that I know a little bit more about brows and stuff I don't I like the consistency of this it just doesn't match my brows it's too light and it comes off a little brownish um, if it matched my brows I would like it just as much as I like the Anastasia one I do like the Anastasia one because it has the spoolie on the end so if you're on the go and you just put it on you can spoolie it out if it's too dramatic or too cray for you so this one doesn't but I still like the product I just wouldn't repurchase it because of the color so I'm keeping it because MAC has the back to MAC where it's like you have four products and you recycle them to MAC and they'll give you like a lip gloss or a lipstick so I'm trying to save and wait for that so yeah we'll see if that happens. The next product I'm going to be talking about is a Mario Badesco product. I really love his products. I think it's an amazing line as well. Um, can't, I don't have enough good things to say about it so I really like it and it is the Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water I saw this on Makeup Alley you, I like it because when I'm on the go I like to freshen up and just spray it and it really makes your makeup look a little bit more fresh so I like this I like the scent of it my fiance doesn't he says it smells like old lady but it goes away I would definitely repurchase the rose water again I am probably not gonna repurchase it soon but definitely in the summer just to give myself a bit of hydration maybe now I guess in the winter if it, my skin's dry I guess I could keep it in the car and just spray it on to give some moisture to my skin I like it because no matter how hot it is in the summer it always feels very nice and cool when I put it on no matter even if it's in the hot car all day long it feels very refreshing I think it's because of the mist but I really like it okay if you know me you know that I've been on the hunt for a very very good drugstore mascara because I feel like I'm one of those types of persons that I don't want to spend $20 on a mascara because I go through them within a month each month I need to repurchase another one so I have an oldie but a goodie and I've been trying out different ones since I've run out and I'm kind of sad because I think I'm going to go back to it next month. It is the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and I really like this mascara because it really lengthens and gives you volume and that's what I really want. I don't need too much of lengthening because I already have that but I don't need too much of volume because I feel like that can make your lashes look kind of like spidery I guess you could say so yeah I really like this one and recommend it I would definitely repurchase this again um, I have repurchased it I have like six old tubes that I don't even know why I have old tubes but I keep them thinking that you know I could just use the brush whenever my other mascaras have too much product I just brush it out so yeah I like this okay last one is the simple cleansing facial wipes I really like these wipes I always buy them over and over again in the past week I just bought them again because I like to keep one in the car and one in my house so that way I can take off my makeup or whenever I'm done with my day and when I get home I just have to rinse it off and just cleanse it so I really like those I've repurchased them like 10 times over and over and over I think they're better than Neutrogena Alme, I've tried Ponds, I think they're the best ones for sensitive eyes. I don't even have sensitive eyes, but I can take off my eye makeup and my face makeup, so I don't need anything else besides that. I really like that. Oop, I lied. There is one more product that is kind of an empty, um, mainly because it messed up, and it is the MAC Ruby Woo matte lipstick this is my go-to number one favorite red lipstick ever 
this is the classic red lipstick that every girl needs to have in their collection. Um, I have already repurchased this a long time ago again once it broke. I kept it because I thought maybe I could use it with like a little lip brush and just apply it on but I really haven't because I have the other one. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping this one for the Back to Mac 2 so that way I can get another product with my recycled product. So yeah, I would repurchase this because I've already repurchased this and I think this is always going to be my favorite red lipstick and it's going to look so good for the holidays. Okay, so that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. I think it's nice to be able to see once you've finished a product if somebody really likes it. Cause sometimes you may say that you really like it at first and you may think that you do, but after using the product in its entirety, you realize that you really didn't like it or there was something about it that made you break out or that you just didn't like the smell, you couldn't get over it. And that's why I think that these videos are really cool because after you finish the product you can really tell if you really like it and if you would repurchase it again so yeah i hope you guys like it and take care